You stand here before me, facing the torrent of fate. Do not be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you, for it is a gift. This storm will cut you like a thousand razor blades. People will bleed there, and you will bleed too. Hot red blood. You'll catch that blood in your hands. Your own blood and the blood of others. And once the storm is over, you won't remember how you made it through. How you managed to survive. You won't even be sure, in fact, whether the storm is really over. But one thing is certain. When you come out of the storm, you won't be the same person who walked in. Remember, the Sword of Destiny has two edges. You are one of them. It's me, Alec the Lost Knight, but today it's Keep Relic. We're playing some D&D. So this is a bit of a mini session, a little bit of a catch-up session because our good friend DC here missed the last session. DC, I was introduce sick. yourself while I fix our face cam stuff. Hello, I'm directly challenged. I play Glorbo. I was really sick last <laughs> week. It was a whole lot of fun. Uh, I mostly slept. And uh, yeah, it was great. Uh, also, I like Love to party. All right, so... Glorbo, party of one. Glorbo, party of one. Anyway, welcome in. Um, so, last time, what happened is that... Um, God, I have to remember it was in session six at this point. Oh, God, that's like two sessions ago. Um, anyway, you guys went to the villa, and you brought the butler back to the prison... They said, come back the next day, they'll have some answers. And there was also a, a big jailbreak, a big fight at the prison. Um, and he said, come back tomorrow, we'll have some answers. And then you went back to the menagerie, to your little home there, and went to sleep. Um, as yeah. a tradition with this campaign, everyone rolls when they go to sleep to see if they get any dreams. And Glorbo got a dream. Without further ado, let's go to the lovely menagerie, and we will get started with today's mini session. Hey. Shut up, phone. We asked you. <laughs> we asked you, phone. All right. Let me also get this. Where's my mouse? There it is. Nice. Let's get some rolls. Okay. So. Hey, Bernard. Yeah, Bernard, you little pooch. Yeah, Santa Bernard. Okay. So, Glorbo, you settle Hello. down to sleep after a rough day and you begin let's see all right Glorbo. hello bernard is fed and he sleeps at the foot of your bed I'll move him right there also he is not that big he fix that also look how tiny he is yeah a little pooch yeah okay that tiny pooch Bernard is fed. He sleeps at your feet on the bed. He's fed on pastries. Yeah, right. And a little tray of food sits on the dresser in your room that you left out. Yeah. You drift off, your tongue still tasting the pastries you devoured. But before the blackness takes you, you hear a noise at your door. Oh. A light scratching. Bernard raises his head. He lets out a low growl. The scratching gets louder. 
What? Slowly, there. you get up and grab your dagger. And you ease towards the door. If you would like, you can actually move your character in this instance. What? Nobody here but Globo. Globo now have pastries. Bernard at your side, still uneasily prowling at the door. Still, the scratch, scratch, scratch comes through. You reach the door. Scratch, scratch, scratch. And you reach for the handle. And as you grasp it, the scratching stops. Are you... Are you cat? Bernard starts barking. Are you... Bernard, is it a cat? And then, mid-bark, Bernard goes silent. Turn around and look at your new furry friend. His muzzle Aww. is held closed by a hand. No! Oh. A smallish creature, comparable to yourself, stands before you. A goblin, in fact. Feet shod with iron boots. Its other hand holding an iron pike. A white beard protrudes from a rough, leathery face. Eyes are dark red embers in the darkness. Underneath a red stocking cap that, strangely enough, appears to be wet, it studies you briefly. The room, unnaturally quiet. Oh, my computer crashed. Oh, your computer crashed? It's okay. I'm, I'm on, I'm on my phone. <laughs> All right. Can you still see it at least? I can see the screen. Okay. So this creature in front of you studies you. And the room is unnaturally quiet. Suddenly, with inhuman speed, the pike is coming right for your chest. No! And with that, you awake back in your bed with Bernard at your feet. Uh, Gorbo will reach for Bernard and cuddle the Bernard for comfort. Bernard looks at you happily, seemingly no concern. The room is empty. But on your dresser, the tray of food is also empty. Bobo, uh, help that not weird gobbo man. And the rest of the night passes that incident. And you awaken, but you've slept in. You woke up late. Look, I mean, you know, Gorbo just, he, he was in a pastry field coma, maybe. Maybe, maybe Gorbo no eat so many pastry before bed next time. I know Gorbo, Gorbo need pace self. That's probably uh, fair. Not eat so many pastry. <sighs> All right, with that, you are awake. You feel free to move about. Hey. I don't know if you can if you're on your phone. Did your computer ever come back up? Yeah, I got it. Okay, sweet. I got it back. Hey, welcome back. Excellent.
You there? Yeah. Okay, sweet. All right. Although, I'm gonna go go outside and check on friends. Oh, go go check on friends. Knock knock knock. That's not one of the rooms, and there is no answer. <laughs> oh, well, Glorbo don't know where friends live, technically. Glorbo kind of, like, just always see them outside. Yeah. Well, you do see several rooms with their doors open, and there does not appear to be anyone here. Oh. And as you look it up at the sun, it appears to be, like, mid-morning, closer to noon, almost. You definitely slept in. Oh. Yep, Glorbo eat too many pastry. can't bring Bernard with me, but I'll just say he's with me. Oh, you fine. don't have control of him? You, no, uh, but it's it's fine. I'll fix that. Hold on. We'll go grab Bernard. There we go. Put, put you Bernard have control on of top him now. of... There you go. Put, Bern, put little puppy Bernard on top of his head, and we go off. Yeah. On a little adventure to go find friend. Be late, Bernard. Very late. Um, Bernard, do you remember where Glorbo's supposed to go? Hello. Oh, oh, <laughs> Bernard, Eric, what's up? Bernard, not very good at talky yet. It's what? okay, Bernard. <laughs> I guess Glorbo's gonna wander around, trying right. to remember where he was supposed to go. <laughs> Does he remember? No, we didn't really, didn't really have a decision made. <laughs> Glorbo's just gonna make well, some assumptions. I guess g roll me a oh, you... intelligence check. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, yay! It's. I mean. He has a 10. Hey, Bernard can give you a help action. <laughs> yes, Glorbo is as smart as the average person. <laughs> Not super intelligent, just intelligent. Well, I, again, I, let's Eight. say Bernard gives you an advantage because he can kind of help lead you, I suppose. We'll call oh, that man. a nat 20. That's fine. Uh -oh. <laughs> the point is... Bernard, lead Glorbo. <laughs> so there wasn't really a like consensus of where to go next. However, you remember them saying that um, if you come back to the prison, they would have answers today after they questioned the new prisoners. Oh, hating on going to prison. Last time Glorbo go, Glorbo get attack. Hmm. Yes, Glorbo go prison. Hopefully. All right. Let's head there now. So you head to the prison. And as you walk up to the prison, uh, Something seems a touch off. But this don't... Bernard, this don't look right. You walk up and there's seemingly Hello? no one there. Hello? It... It Glorbo. Knock, knock. Do I need to fix Hello? this one again? I do. All right, yeah, let me do, do that. that. Yeah, yeah. Knock, knock. All right, you now have control of him. So as you walk in, the door behind you. Uh, uh oh, Lobo. Lobo don't like this. Lobo. Oh no, and. And. Out of, let's see.
We're going to... Oh. It's an 18 to hit. I think that yep. meets, right? Yep, meets my AC. All right. If it meets, it beats. You take four damage and roll initiative. Oh. Who stabbed Glorbo? Oh, what the? Oh, all my other stuff came up, popped in. Oops. Sorry, guys. I'll fix that later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, excellent, my friend. Excellent. All right, so. Go first. In the corner. Pops up. This little guy. All right, so you go first. Uh, first of all, roll me a perception check. You're asking a lot of gold. <laughs> Natasha, welcome in. Well, I'm asking a lot of glory, but with these perception checks, based off of wisdom. <laughs> okay. I told you. You're asking a lot of Glorbo. All right. So go ahead and uh Yeah, I'll post a vod, Anik. Uh go ahead and take your uh, take your action, friend. Uh Glorbo use great sword and charge. All right. Bernard stay there. Glorbo attack. Mean Gobba man. All right, go for it. Come here, great sword. There you are. Yeah. Huh? A ten will not hit. Gorbo, come on. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Uh. Bernard. Bite him. He does have bite, right? I don't remember what I gave him. Pull up his sheet. He does have a bite. Okay. Bite him, Bernard. A 16 that will hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Takes five damage, and it must succeed on a strength saving throw or be not prone uh ch -ch -ch -ch. okay only a dc 11 but, all right well. he is prone lobo uh -huh. gets him by the ankle and pulls him to the ground he's a small also goblin and so he is currently prone right. good work bernard anything else for your turn uh that would be it all right it's now the goblin's turn one in front of you. I'll attack. I don't like the way you said that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the one in front of you. Uh, 21 to hit? Yeah. Ow. All right. For another four piercing. And... Um... This one will, pull, will hop down for wheels on the fucking ceiling behind you and come up and also roll to attack. Are you kidding? 11 uh -huh. minutes. That's the one you did not seal your perception. Well, you know, and you ask a lot about you ask a lot of <laughs> Glorbo. All right. All right. And this, perception. this one as a bonus action will take a hide. He will roll stealth. No. Oh. Against uh, roller perception. Actually, I guess he's in he's in melee. He'll just going to take the disengage action and he'll take a step back for, for the uh, for bonus action. Okay. All right. All right. That's the goblin's turn. You're up. I think I should be. Um, alright. Prone Gabo. 
well, you will have first, advantage on. First, I'm, I'm gonna do some lay, lay of hands. I think that's an action as a paladin, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't need to move. Well, I mean, like, that's that'll be your action, though, if you do lay on hands. Bye bye. We'll be there to attack. Ah, uh, fine, we'll attack. Avenging Marlon, what's up? Now I just go. sneak in a little sneaky short stream today. Great sword, let's go! Yeah! Alright, you have advantage of these prone, and that will hit. Roll your damage. Yeah! 11. 11. Uh, describe how you kill this goblin. Um, stabbing him through the chest. Nice. Boom. All right. Just rear back that great sword, two hand thrust forward into the. <laughs> nice. All right, that's one down. Anything else in your turn? Uh, send Bernard after Gabo. All right. Bernard, do your thing. <laughs> Fight the Gabo. Please, Bernard. Please. <laughs> I love you, Bernard. He hit. Roll, roll damage. Bernard MVP. Yeah, well, Two damage. You know, you know. He must make a saving throw or else he'll be prone. So let's see if he can make it. It's a strength. They have plus zero to strength. So just a straight roll. Does not at all. Hey. So he is also now knocked prone. Bernard, you're the best. All right. Anything else? Uh, I can, I can move. Set myself up over here. Nice. And boom. All right. It is now the goblin's turn. He'll use half his movement to stand up. He's going to swing on you with his kitchen knife. Say 22 to hit. Yeah. Or six damage. Right. And because it's like it's it's gonna be like this. He can make a second attack with disadvantage. Hmm. I'll try one more time to hit you. Will not hit. Alright. Um and that's all he's going to do. So, that's you, my friend. Okay. I think, Bernard, I think it's time for a thunderous smite. Cast Thunder Smite, and we're going to attack. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. Ah. That is an 11 that will not Wait. hit. But I'm, I got him pincered with Bernard. <laughs> you have blanking on him? I am. All right. So that 24 will hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Yeah. Add, your, uh, add your thunder smite on it. This then would be an extra two d six thunder. So, oh god! Before you even so just describe <laughs> how you want to eviscerate this this shadow goblin. I guess I'm slicing him clean in half. <laughs> That's fair. That's Straight fair. down the middle. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, he popped like a pinata. Look, when Glorbo actually hits. Alright. Glorbo hits. <laughs> yes, and, he is now paint. <laughs> and as you finish him off, you kind of like blink your eyes, and suddenly you're standing outside the prison. Everything <laughs> seems normal. Glorbo don't feel normal. Glorbo feel like he almost dead. <laughs> and
And for those that are watching, you now have a new uh, feature on your sheet. Mm -hmm. The last one called Fickle Fay. Bottom right. Well, <laughs> well. So for those watching, yep, yeah, there you go. So, uh, Glorbo left food out to the Fae last night, and you didn't roll this time, but you will in the future. Um, you will roll a 1d4. If it is a two through four, you will receive some sort of blessing or gift or something. But if you roll a one, it will be a negative outcome, such as attracting the wrong kind of attention. Glorbo feel like maybe he attracts brownies with his people. Yeah, so... Thank you, and good night. Glorbo <laughs> be here all week. All right. Well, you have survived the encounter, and you are here at the prison. What would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to go over to one of the guards. <laughs> Lose control of Bernard again. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll fix that after the session. There you go. Uh, you got it back. Funny. Uh, every time. <laughs> uh, hello. Have you seen Glorbo friend? Uh, yeah, they were here earlier. I think they, they left you a note inside or something. Thank you. Glorbo, go get note. But, but when Gl Glorbo is going to stop at the door, though, this is not trick, is it? You don't uh, throw Glorbo in jail. Did you do something? Should we throw you in jail? No, Glorbo just... Glorbo just have weird day. Okay, well, uh, the answer is no. Unless you break the law, then we'll definitely throw you in jail. But otherwise, uh, you're, you're fine. You're okay, kind of working cool. for us, so I really don't feel any need to, you know, anything crazy. But we do have a note here from your friends. Um, okay. They left for you, in case you came along. Glorbo will go inside to get the note. All right. Get the note. The note, I believe, um, uh, Liv left it, I believe, and it says that they returned to the villa, the mansion that you were at the previous day to track down the poisoner. Ah. Uh. <sighs> All right, Bernard, we go to villa. All right, let's head that way. They obviously be there when we get there. Right, obviously. <laughs> I mean, first of all, fix Bernard before anything happens. Immediately. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right, cool. I need to lay on hands while I... I'm dangerously low on health. Yep. All right. So you head to the well, villa and... Um, lay on hands while he's on the way there. Ah! You have what ten at this level? Yeah. Sweet. All right. So you used all ten. Yep. Sweet. So you arrive at the villa and it is still smoldering, and smoking Bernard, into the sky. Bernard, I, I know, I know I shouldn't make assumption, but I both think I have something to do with this. <laughs> Just feeling. <laughs> oh boy. All right. If you would like to roll a perception or investigation or whatever you'd like to do um, in this on this scene. Yeah, my PC is just not happy with me today. Oh, crashed again? Yeah. Hell yeah. Nice. Love it. Love to see it, friends. Oh, Love yeah. to see it. It's fine. Well, um, I think Gorbo is going to be doing some some investigation. Mm -hmm. uh, have you know Bernard sniff around? Okay, so I'll give you advantage on whatever you want to roll. Then you have Bernard. I think he has keen smell and stuff. Keen, yeah, has eventual on, on perception checks rely on hearing or smell. So yeah, uh, give me just like thirty seconds and I'll be able to roll. Yeah. 
Luckily, I have a solid state drive. Hey, quick boot. It's just, yeah, it's just, I think my D drive is going out and it's causing my computer to crash. Always that D, dude. Uh -huh. Well, it's a 10 year old hard drive. Mm. So, you yeah, know, probably, probably should replace it. <laughs> just that. look for weird lizard prints. Nice. What? Am I looking for rook prints? Yes, you'll definitely have an advantage because um, Bernard will be able to smell your friends and all anyway, so. All right, all right, I got this. All right, I'm back in. Oh, look how great this is going. Oh, yeah, going fantastic. Couldn't be going better. Debatable. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ooch. There we go. Nice. Now, we do this. Mm -hmm. And perception is wisdom based. All right. He has an advantage. That's a 13. Did you roll wisdom or did you actually roll the perception skill on there? I rolled his wisdom because Pooch doesn't have perception. I think he, it actually does on the sheet under skills. Oh, he does. So yeah, plus my, three perceptions. So. Reroll. Yeah. Oh That's, God. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. There it is. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> Damn. Damn, okay. Bernard. So Bernard starts sniffing around and finds in the rubble, in the wreckage, in the debris of the house, finds a trap door. Well, good job, Bernard. Yeah. Do you like to go down the trap door? Yeah. All right. Bernard definitely better at perception than Gorbo. Yeah, that's fine. All right. So we proceed down the trap door. You find yourself in a small basement room with what appears to be a bookcase that has been opened to reveal a secret door. All right, well, through the door, Bernard, and their dead body. So as you enter the room, as you mentioned, as you noticed, it is full of several dead people. Yep, Florbo friend's definitely been here. I do any kind of perception or anything in this room. Yeah. Let's look around. Lorbo will do it, but oh well. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. All right. Lorbo <laughs> is is a little famished from the oversleeping and is looking for food in this room. To be fair. <laughs> Go, Pooch. Sniff him out. All right. So, nothing really much there, and I don't think Bernard was with you yet at this point. Um, but I will say that as you walk over, um, this body right here will notice as Sala, the guy that hired you at the docks that day, who gave you uh, the poison, this... the box of poison. Oh. This guy we looking for... Well, we found, apparently... Yes. Well, that mean party must... Friends must go this way. And as you look at the body as well, give me one more perception check, if you don't mind. Sure. We're asking a lot of... I am out. indeed. I am indeed. I'm trying to get some... Trying to squeeze the lore out right out of you. <laughs> you, you, you should know. What? Ten. It's not hard to miss. Um... <laughs> His eyes are weird. Like, what? he's dead, and he didn't die just by, like, stab wounds. Like, something happened to this man. Did... Did they... Did they have bird poop in your eye? <laughs> it does not appear to be bird poop. Um, something, like, fried this man's head. When they get fireball, 
Where do they get fireball? They throw fire in face? Bernard! We need not sleep in no more. We miss too much. <laughs> Marvo confused. Well, I guess we're going to continue down the pathway of carnage. Oh! And as you round the corner, you see all of your friends who are in various stages of this combat, and you see poking out of the water a giant crocodile. Oh! And with that, we will pick back up next session with the full crew. Yay! So. <laughs> They're just gonna show up with two stab wounds. <laughs> like, what happened to you, Glorbo? Glorbo! Glorbo, not talk about it! Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> but you'll also notice in this scene that there are uh, some of the guards and Captain Meralt is here and there's like a knight over here and um yeah so well huh yeah is, not, uh... you, almost to bring a death but the lay on hands uh, brought you back to where you're you're still pretty okay but definitely it was not a <laughs> not a good time no I'm uh, they, saving that 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 lick. They could have done multi attack the whole time with this advantage on the second attack, and I just wait to the end because I was like, I don't want it to go ham. Uh, no, let's calm down. You're by yourself. Yeah. Let's calm down. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. only had like 13 health though. It's fine. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. No, it's perfectly fine. I, yeah, I just, it's fine. Oh, perfectly fine. Uh, my plan is just to take the average from now on. I think. Oh yeah, on your uh, your health rolls. Yeah, because I rolled a one last time. Oh, yep, yeah, that would do it. Yeah, yeah, I'm one of those like roll for life kind of guy, but man, it has really screwed me sometimes. Yeah, it, yeah. You know, rolling rolling for health in this economy. In this economy? Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. uh, wrapping up here, roses and thorn tree, little mini session. Um, let's see here, roses. Well, number one. Uh, Glorbo and Bernard ha Bernard succeeding so well at everything he did. Bernard kicked ass today. Kicked <laughs> Bernard ass. did an amazing job. <laughs> <laughs> Bernard just taking down goblins and finding everything we need. Glorbo, not, not so much. But he did cut a goblin in half, which is pretty cool. You did. You you totally eviscerated like two goblins, two little shadow goblins. You, you murdered them both. Yeah. Uh, the thorns would be uh, almost dying to the two little shadow goblins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had like mm -hmm. three. I had three health left. Yeah, yeah. They're Those. they're a little rough. Like they've got a lot of like shadow stuff. Like they can disengage. They can hide and do a bunch of stuff. And uh, they uh, can do two attacks. So it's a disadvantage on the second one. So that that is true. I didn't I didn't lie about that. But it's wait, like, wait. damn, dude. You just wait till I get multi attacks. Hey. Then I'll be doing it on that on there too, so you know. Glorbo will, will become out. I don't know. I mean Yeah, there we go. It'll become something. Make two attacks, second attack has a disadvantage, which is a really really cool mechanic, I think. I like that a lot. But that is cool. I like it better than the freaking guards with their two attacks. Yeah, they were they were mad, dude. Yeah. Or like the pack tactics gets advantage on stuff. That was rough. Yeah. That was rough. Anyway, fun little session, little short little stream little session. Um, yeah, we'll be back with the full group and probably, I think the next session is the 8th is what I've penciled in right now. Oh, cool. Um, just to where, uh, I think it's going to be pretty busy next week and I think uh, Ninja's out of town for a while and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So um, we're going to go back on the 8th with the next full group and then I'm going to do some side stories, some more stuff probably next week. I'm going to try to get one more stream of uh, the side story stuff next week if possible. Um, I just I so want to start the next session with Glorbo have only one question. Did I burn <laughs> mansion? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. You gotta watch Yay. last session to find out or just ask her uh, either way, but yeah, anyway guys it's more fun to do it in character oh for sure for sure uh with that we're gonna wrap up um we'll raid out to the ye old shuffle channel and uh 
We'll call her a stream. Oh, um, I just closed the wrong window, so it's going to cut off the audio, but let me open that back up uh, real quick. DC, where can they find you? You can find me on YouTube at Directionally Challenged. Yeah. Nice. All right. Now, we're going to wrap up. We're going to raid out and call the stream, and this VOD will go up um, this weekend at some point. So, anyway. Look thanks forward for, to the VOD, everyone. Look thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you for like, thank you for having me. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> triple. You just said no, was it triple? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna so use that long rest thing. Let's do, <laughs> I will just every time. Let's oh, go for sure. I, 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 I mean, want to hey. see if we can make it fun for you. Oh yeah, I, hey, that's I I love things where I'm like I'm I'm gonna give you an effect, and you got to roll for it. It's always a gamble. You can, I, I yeah. love like. One, you know, two through four, you get something good. One, I'm gonna fuck you up. I, I love that shit. I'm, Just let the die decide, dude. I'm fine with it as long as if he dis like if he goes into a weird thing where shadow goblins attack him, he disappears to everyone else. Oh yeah. <laughs> where oh, did Glorbo yeah, go? Sure. Ah, Glorbo don't like the shadow realm. Yeah, the Fey are pulling you into the shadow realm for sure. <laughs> and hey, you yeah. got a uh, a red cap showed up, who was an actual yeah. character from like mythology or whatever. Yeah. Um. So that, uh, good luck with that later in life. No, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not gonna go bad. Yeah, dude, I was, I, I actually found that looking up like, you know, legend stuff, and mm -hmm. it was actually one of those in the tone beasts. I was like, oh, it's actually already a thing. Cool. <laughs> so yeah, EMD has a lot of cool things you can find. Yeah, yeah. But for real though, let's roll that outro and raid out. Hey, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Comment down below what your favorite part was. And of course, if you want to see more, please subscribe. We post new videos daily. I stream weeknights on Twitch, 7 to 10 p.m. Central. I'm Alec the Lost Knight, by the way. Have a always live content shuffle. Check out the link below for that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.